Anyway, Mason, here's something that might be good when it comes out. Go on. Similarly, you this podcast. Yeah, did an AMA <laughs> yeah. on Threads. God, what a what a legendary situation we're in, James. <laughs> I I I I opened up a, a, a sugar free soda and it sort of fizzed everywhere. Yeah. God, people are going to be talking about this for years to come. <laughs> Probably right. What a time. What a time. And he was Never. asked about Shang-Chi 2. Oh, yeah? And he said, uh, he's in Barbie. He's doing big movies. That's right. He said, uh, it would release after another Avengers movie, but that keeps pushing back due to circumstances beyond my control. Mm. I hope to have more concrete news to share soon. So the next Avengers movie is apparently Avengers The Kang Dynasty mm. in 2026. Yes. So it will be after that. That's a quite a long time. If they even call it the Kang Dynasty mm. and not another bloke dynasty. That's right. That's all still playing out mm. at the moment. Yes. So that's why there's been no Shang-Chi 2, which is kind of bizarre because that people liked that movie. People liked it. It did, it. Well. It did well, yep. Yeah. Mm. So, you know. Yeah. But who am I to say anything? And it's also, I, I mean, you know, it, it, it feels like as a, you know, the, the central protagonist isn't a guy in a billion-dollar armoured suit that you have to visual effects over. No. It's a, it's a, it's a guy who's good at martial arts. Surely that is, a, yeah. that is a cheaper, easier proposition or a guy well, who turns into a big green monster or whatever. Well, I guess at the end of that movie, I don't know if you know, like they took the area that they were fighting in and it wasn't on green screen and they put it in a different grey arena or whatever. Oh. Do you remember at the end how they're fighting in a, in a quarry or whatever? Oh, yeah, I do remember that, yeah. Yeah, yep. you know the worst bit of the movie? Oh, yeah, that bit, that the end bit. bit. Yeah. <laughs> the bit we all left remembering the most. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I know you liked the tram bit, Mason. The bus fight, sure. Yeah, the bus fight, et cetera. So there you go. Look forward to that if it ever happens. Okay. So Indiana Jones the Dial of Destiny in its second week mm. fell 58% okay. to 25 to 28 million. Which, again, I, I think... That's not a horrible yes. fall if a movie did really well. And generally speaking, yeah, yeah the, the, the drop-off is pretty rapid, like people will see. Yeah. But, you know, but and again, as I think we've certainly pointed out, it's it's done, like, in terms of gaining, in terms of getting tens of millions of dollars of ticket sales, yeah. it's done quite well. Like, as an opening, I think it's one of the best Indiana Joneses. Like, it's up there. What? Isn't in it? In terms of say, I don't hear that. Okay. Is, is it that not? true? Yeah, I think it might be. Okay. But, I mean, I, I think that's, you know, that's probably not factoring in inflation, but also it's not factoring in that the movie costs three hundred million dollars. Yeah, exactly. Like it, if the, again, if this were a cheaper movie, it'd be doing all right. I but guess. even if it it did cost what like the last one cost, mm. it's still it is the lowest opening Indiana Jones, Jones movie by quite a lot. Oh, it is okay. And the decline also this decline of fifty eight percent would be the biggest drop off in the franchise's oh, no. history. So it's all bad. So you know this franchise that's over. Yeah, yeah. It's Definitely, definitely over. over. Well, look, I got I got bad information there. <laughs> I thought it was maybe not over. No, no. I mean, it, it might spin off into other things, mm. but they're not going to. I mean, if this did really well, they would go. Maybe we could do yeah, another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. would absolutely consider mm. it, but now they're not. Should we get the guy that doubles for Harrison Ford that looks exactly <laughs> like a young Indiana Jones? No, 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 no. We Sean can't Pat- do that. Sean Patrick. He Fun, might, might become popular. Oh, okay, we can't yeah. Do that. No, we don't want that. Oh, Alden Ironreich, you're talking about? Oh, the other guy. He's Anthony dub- and Gruber. Yes. Oh, okay. He looks quite. Similar yeah, to, he does yeah, the voice. He does the voice, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, anyway, that's all bad. Mm-hmm. Again, Great. 58% drop-off is good if your movie makes $200 million in its opening week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a terrific drop-off. That's, that's true. But other than that. Because then you've made almost $300 million. Exactly. Mm. Speaking of big bombs, Mason, oh, and yes. I'm not just talking about Oppenheimer. Oh, yes. You're uh, talking about this movie that's going to. The, the, this Forbes came out and they said, listen, <laughs> we, we talk money yeah, yeah. and numbers. That's right. And We're the said, big dogs when it comes to talking money and numbers. That's right. And they said The Flash is the biggest comic book bomb in history. <sighs> that's a big deal. It is a big deal. And you might be like, what are the others? They provide us with a list. <laughs> so okay. We so we're, well, we're factoring in stuff like, is this just of the modern era or is this like Captain America 1990? This goes back to 2010. Okay, right. But yes, it's of. Oh, okay, right. This would be a percentage. This isn't. This or this would be like it's a percentage is budget related. It's a multiple yeah, of the yeah, yeah. a multiple of the budget, etc. So Captain America in nineteen ninety probably yeah. did poorly, but it cost fifty grand. Like Superman four did badly, but it didn't mm. cost three hundred million dollars. That's true. Yeah. So at number ten, we've got Green Lantern. That's that lost that lost seventy five million dollars. Okay. Which is a shame because that's actually a really bad movie, mm. and they should have made a better movie, and then it would have done better. That's a great idea. At number nine, we've got the new mutants at eighty-four million dollars. Yep. Well, look, that was a victim of the pandemic, and also it was bad. Yeah. And also, but it <laughs> and had. They cut the. Yeah. They cut a lot. It seemed like it was missing forty minutes of a movie. <laughs> it's just all the things yeah. that should happen in a movie. And they fought a big magic bear. <laughs> that bit I liked. But I think, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, I think that it was a been... mind bear, wasn't it? It was a big mind. Someone draped a mind bear. I think so. Yeah. That it also would have done better. I think had it 
come out when it was supposed to have come out because it had a bunch of young stars. It had yeah, Game no, Anya Taylor Joy and, and Game of Thrones and whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that I mean, that was their attempt to kickstart you know a new a young kickstart our hearts exactly. Uh, but again, pandemic and also and it also came out after X Men went back to whatever whatever, and they were like, what do we do with this? And that's true. they filmed it in like. 2007. Yeah, yeah. And it was bad. <laughs> and, it was and it was bad. Bad, yeah. Mm. Uh, next but up I like how Magic had a big magic sword or whatever. Yeah, that was okay. I think. I think. Yeah, yeah. Or a big, or at least a big psychic arm. Something thing. happened. So stuff happened. We're in all that talking move. about we it. We're all talking about it. And maybe there was a guy in a mirror. You know, there's a, a guy in a wall or whatever. And it's like, and you're like, how do they do that? And then it's like, you just put rubber on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You poke your fingers through That's it. That's true. Mm. Uh, number eight, we had RIPD, $92 million. Has anybody Minus. read the. Comic that that's is that based on a comic? It must yeah, be. Yeah, it is. Okay, these are comic book movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These aren't just movies, Mason. Okay, it's that's the. Prestige. I I wonder if that's a cheat. I reckon that was probably a comic. I'm gonna look it up. I bet that's one of those comics that was made with the express purpose so. of being converted into a. Let me check. Who hot dogs real name? No. <laughs> Started in 2003. Okay, so I don't think so. Oh yeah, all right. And there was a sequel. Did you know that? Yes, starring mm. the guy from Burn Notice. The maybe? guy from Burn Notice, maybe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, cool. Next up, we've got Fantastic Four, a hundred million. It doesn't specify which one, <laughs> but I'm assuming it was 2015. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At number six, we have Black Adam. Okay. And that was minus ne- negative 130 million. Okay. You still looking at RIPD? Yes. What you was that him? last one? That one was Black Adam. No, it was Black Adam. Yeah. And then the suicide uh, was a hundred million. Uh-huh. Negative 100 million. Number five, we had The Suicide Squad, okay. which was 130, which was pandemic related and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, number four was Dark Phoenix, which was negative 133 million. That was bad. That was bad. Next up was Wonder Woman 1984, which was negative 137. Again, pandemic. And it was bad. And it was bad. Next up was number two with Shazam Fury of the Gods with negative $150 million. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. And coming in, <laughs> you, think, you think that's a lot. Coming in at number one uh, was The Flash with negative $200 million. No. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, yes, Mason. Wow. So if that was a – if they'd made a $200 million movie yeah. and nobody bought any tickets, it still would have – it would have would have broken even. Yes. Wow. Well, they've talked about The Flash and they said if they just released it on HBO Max, they would have lost less money mm. because they wouldn't have marketed it. That's true. Yeah. Anyway, you might be wondering what's, going, what's the trend what's here? What's the future of The Flash in the DCU? Well, these are – there's six – DC movies on this list yep, out uh-huh. of ten, uh-huh. and then there's a couple of X Men movies, yeah. and the, the Mar- and then there's no MCU movies yet. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. But I feel like that's going to change okay. in the near future. Uh-huh. But uh, I mean, again, some of these are pandemic related. Yeah, my God. Mm. Like, and I know people are saying like this latest trend, like the Flash bombing, is because of like the Ezra Miller situation and whatever. Uh-huh. But if you look at the DC trend, it's been bad yeah. for years. For years, yeah. The DCEU stuff, not yeah. Joker and um, the other the one, Batman, the Batman. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's not. I mean, they might have bombed for all slightly different reasons, but it's not. Yeah, things have not been good. This no, isn't true. new. I'm yeah. not surprised. I would like to see these in the larger context of just blockbuster movies sure. in general. Do you want me to email Forbes? If you could email Forbes, yeah, be like, "Hey, losers, you missed out on every other." What does movie this mean in is? relation to Waterworld? That's exactly right. And The Postman mm. to Kevin Costner and movies. R.I.P.D. Two. Yes, that's right. Exactly. 